All right, guys, so we need to remove this piece right here. And to do that, we need to remove this. So to remove the uh, mud flap, hard bolt here, hard bolt here, retain those, you're gonna need them. Undo this right here. And <clears throat> there's one bolt to the mud flap right about here. So you're gonna go ahead and remove this which is then gonna give you access to remove this. So, and that's how you're gonna avoid rub. All right guys, so this is what we're looking at. We are going after this guy right here. Now, I already removed my mud flaps when I did the wrap, but as you can see, not a lot of room there. On my Tacoma, I had the pleasure of paying 180 bucks for a BMC or body mount chop to take care of this and the Land Cruiser we just need to do a few things so one remove the front mud flap two we need to remove these three so there's one two and three way back here so uh, to do that you'll need just a small screwdriver there's not a lot of room to work with here so let's see there we go Get him in there, and I just twist to pop. That takes care of him. And we'll go to this other one, get in there, then we'll twist the pop. There we go. So there's one, two. Oh, there's a third. And the third is down here. And we'll get him in and twist. Okay. So there's one, two, three of the plastic little pop things. Just grab them by the head, pull them straight out. We are not going to be reusing these. So I would recommend you save these. You can buy them on Amazon for cheap, but if you don't got two, why bother? <clears throat> and there's the third. And yep, see, this guy will just drop right out. There he is. Okay, now the next thing that we need to do, and I'm gonna have to use my phone for this here, so three bolts you have one here and then you have down here one two so let me get my phone there so you guys can see there's one two three so those three are with a 17 millimeter wrench we're gonna do that right now and come back okay so to give you a visual this is the piece we're removing there's our 14 millimeter bolts now on the back side what I want to show you because we're about to get into it there's these little tabs and they slide in there so the stock one's still there I got the last one I'm working on but I wanted to point this out because you'll unget that last bolt that I'm working on and then it's not going to want to come out it's going to move every single silly way it possibly can so I'm going to attempt to do this with one hand to show you guys and you can see this is this is the stock clearance, right? So here's the plate, little uh, felt piece that we removed. This guy just went over aesthetically covering it, but this is what you're left with, you know, stock, right? So we're gonna go ahead, remove him. Again, 17 millimeter socket. There we go. All right, so he's out pretty much. And then this thing's gonna kind of flop around. So you're gonna see, let's let's go. So see right there, it's gonna be like, hey, what's going on? That's where those tabs are. So we go up, slide, bring it down, comes right out. There's that, now look guys, see? That was flush, now it's back there. You gain an additional two inches for clearance, uh, 35's no problem. I would not touch these at this time the other side has it as well um i'm gonna leave it intact because there's lines um on both sides brake lines and other lines um that are important that i think we need to continue protecting so leave it alone but um that's it right there it's as simple as that we are not going to reinstall these because that defeats the purpose not only that these latched into these holes so there's nothing to secure it so we're done i would say put these to the side in a safe place so if you ever go to sell or trade your vehicle in you can restore it um not that anybody would ever notice that but you know there we go so
Good job, you can fit 35s stock height now. Yay.